Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. So, I know I have not uploaded in a while. It's actually been, like, two months. But, I, trust me, I've, I've tried to record, like, ten videos. Well, more like five. But, my mic has been broken this entire time. So, all the videos sounded terrible, and they were just too bad to upload. I finally got my mic fixed, so, as you hear, it's much better. And, now I could record again. Um... So, I'm going to be teaching you guys about user input service this video, which is basically how you can det detect inputs. And I do have a cold, so sorry if my voice does sound a bit muffled or weird, but yeah, I have a cold. So, we could detect user input service from a local script, and we would want to put that local script inside of the player. So, whether it's inside of the character, which we could put inside here, starter character script, or, for example, inside the starter's UI or the starter pack, it just needs to be inside of the player. Um, I would recommend putting it in starter character scripts. So now in here, we will get user input service. So we'll type local user input service is equal to game get service user input service. So now we have a variable for the uh, user input service. If you don't know about variables, I have a video on my channel talking about them. And actually, before we continue, I'm going to make it. So whenever you press a key, it enables and disables the GUI. So I'm actually going to make a GUI really quickly. All right. So. We will name this frame, whatever, we don't have to name it anything, so let's make it invisible. And let's place a local script here. Alright, there we go. So now, we will, well, let's make a ver another variable for the frame. So local frame is equal to script.parent.frame. So if we want to detect an input, we want to type user input service dot input began connect function. Um, now, inside of the function parameters, we want to type input and busy. So input is going to be the actual input um and busy is whether you're typing in chat or if you're typing in a text box so let's say you're typing in chat busy will be true if you're not it'll be false if you're typing in a text box for example it will be true and if you're not it'll be false and also for a few other things like game settings and some other things i don't know so um to detect the key we want to type if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code now i don't know if my recording picks this up but there should be a list over here, like um, wherever my mouse is, like between my mouse, there's a little box with list of things. Yeah, my recorder doesn't pick it up. Um, but basically, this, these are all the different inputs, uh, keys, uh, user input service could detect. Um, I'm just going to do, sp so we could do like space, um, which will be the space bar, obviously. We could do A, B, C, you could do any key on your keyboard, just make sure it's caps. I'm going to do M because this is going to toggle a menu that says, hello, welcome to the game. So now we also want to type and uh, busy is equal to false. Now you could either type busy is equal to false or and not busy. I like doing not busy because I don't know, it's just easier to type. So this will make sure that this is only activated when you're not typing in chat. So let's say you're typing in chat. So you're typing in chat and you say, hello, man. So right here you said you typed M when typing man, so it would have activated. So that's why we're typing um, and not busy. This way it doesn't activate accidentally. So now we will make one more if statement to detect if the frame is visible. If the frame is visible, we'll make it um, invisible. And if it's invisible, we'll make it visible. Um, so this is how you do that. So we want to type if frame.visible is equal to false, then frame.visible is equal to true, and then else, meaning it's not, uh, if it's, if it is visible, we can do frame.visible is equal to false. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's basically detecting. We have an if statement. If the frame is invisible, then it'll make it visible. Uh, else, if it's not, vis if it is visible, it'll make it invisible. So yeah, that's all we need for that part. So this in this input should now be working. So uh, every time we press M, it should toggle the frame. So let's press play. All right, there we go. The game loaded. So now if I press M, you'll see. There we go. Welcome to the game. If I press it again, it's invisible. So you could hear me pressing M. We could spam it. Now, if you don't want uh, them to spam it, you can add a debounce. I'm not going to explain uh, what a debounce is in this video, but I will make a video about debounces. So now let, let's let's change this up. So let's make it that the the UI will be visible uh, as long as you're holding down on M. So if you're holding down on M, it'll be visible. But if you let go of M, it will be invisible. What we want to do is you could copy this 
and you could just paste it. So there we go. Um, and now we want to change uh, one or two things. So over here, instead of input began, we could do input ended. And then over here, we probably want to get rid of the not busy. This way, if the player is typing in chat, um, it will go invisible even like even though they're typing in chat. If you want, if you don't want it to go invisible, if they start typing in chat, then keep the not busy there. So what I'm gonna do uh, now is we'll type frame dot visible is equal to false, and then over here we'll type frame dot visible is equal to true. I typed that wrong. So now when the input begins, so when we start holding down on M, it will make the frame visible, and when we let go of M, so input ended, it will make it invisible. So if we press play, all right, so now uh, we'll see if I hold down on M, there we go, it's visible, and I'll let go, there we go. So you see, I'm clicking on it, and as long as I'm holding, it's visible, and if I let go, it'll be invisible. So you can use this for like a shift to sprint, so it's really easy to make a simple si uh, shift to sprint. So we do local player is equal to game players dot local player, uh, and then we could do player dot character dot humanoid walk speed is equal to 24 and then we'll change it to 16 over here because that's the default walk speed and now we have a shift to sprint so you see i'm walking normally now if i hold down on m i'm running and now if i let go i'm walking again so you could use uh, input service for something like that now there's going to be a few more things i'm going to show you you can do with input service or a few other ways to detect inputs so i'm gonna go back to making the frame visible so let me just type this really quickly okay so let's say you want to detect if the player clicks so you can't type an in enum dot key code dot mouse button one that's not you can't type that so you would want to type if input dot user input type whoops i typed that wrong <laughs> user input type is equal to enum dot uh user input type then you could do dot mouse button one or mouse button two or three uh there's a whole list again that you can't really see on my screen recording or in the video so there's like mouse wheel mouse wheel for when you scroll there's gamepad inputs there's dot touch for mobile i assume or maybe a touch display um there's mouse movement if you like move your mouse but we're gonna do that mouse button one for now so we'll press play all right here we are so we're in the game now if i right click nothing happens as you see but if i click now it makes the ui visible because i'm detecting the mouse input um also let me show you what not busy does so i can't really show you it with the mouse input but if i do um key code Let's uh, make a new line. So if key code is equal to enum dot key code dot m. So let me show you what happens basically. So you'll see how if I press m, it toggles the UI. But if I'm typing in chat and I say m, nothing happens. See, I could type m caps or lowercase, nothing happens. I could also do it in reverse you see nothing happens because i'm typing in chat so i'm quote unquote busy also happens in the game settings and it should also happen if i add a text box into my gui so let me just add a text box there we go so let's say i'm typing in the text box m there we go you see it's not actually making the ui visible which could be good or maybe you want it to detect even if someone's typing in chat anyways i think that's all there is to the video so you can detect uh most key inputs with if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot whatever the key is and you could detect some other inputs with user input type which will detect for example mouse inputs so uh once again you could do user input service dot input began um to detect uh when someone begins an input uh, so you just want to hook that up to a function and then you could do user input service dot input ended for whenever an input ended and there's a few other things but these are just the important ones so you can mess around with the other ones but it is mainly only these so here's a little close-up on the code um, and if this video helped make sure to subscribe and like and if you do subscribe make sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next tutorial anyways thanks for watching
see you later.